Hello and good afternoon, morning, whatever, everyone. Um, I'm going to be doing this makeup tutorial on the look that you just saw. We're going to start out by taking some shadow shields and lining them up right with the tail of the brow and then um, just gently kind of tapping them in place. Next, I'm taking my cut crease canvas from Makeup Revolution and using the little built-in brush to put a small amount on the eyelids. It's super pigmented, so there's absolutely no need to go crazy with this. And then I'm just taking my finger and I'm blending it in. And um, it is gonna look kind of crazy. And I'm gonna take a little bit of it as well and put it in the inner corner as well as underneath the eye. Next up, we're gonna take the Sugar Pill Eyeshadow in the shade Taco, which is a flat matte bright white shade. And I'm taking this little kind of flat but yet dense brush from Royal and Lang Nickel. It's one of their Moda brushes. And I'm taking that small brush and I'm just setting everywhere that I placed that white eyeshadow. Uh, next up, I am going to be taking a shade from the Huda Beauty Coral Obsessions palette. It's any mustard yellow shade would do. And I'm taking that and putting it in the inner crease only. And next, I'm taking my uh, ColourPop My Little Pony palette, and I'm taking that shade Flutterby, and I'm using that in the outer crease as well as using that shade to blend the yellow and the peach color together. And next, I am taking the shade Applejack from the palette, and I am blending it above where I placed the peach kind of layering it into the peach and blending a little bit of the edges with it with that yellow color, as well as trying to define an outer corner um, just above where we placed the shadow shield. And then I am going back in with Flutterby and using that to blend out all three colors with this little Real Techniques Bold Metals brush which I use to tighten up and blend transition shades. Next, I'm taking a packing brush and I'm packing the shade Dolly Pop from Sugar Pill into my outer corner because I want to have this bright pop right on my outer corner. I want to put a shimmery shade all over the lid, so I'm gonna use that last shade from the Huda Beauty Coral Obsessions palette. I'm using the NYX Glitter Primer to act as a base for that, and I'm using the Glitter Primer also to sort of diffuse the edge of that bright pink Dolly Pop eyeshadow that we put down previously. I'm going to use a actually that same uh, Moda brush, and I'm just going to very softly sweep that last coral shade all over the lid. I'm not cutting the crease or anything. I want this to be a little bit more daytime appropriate.
and we're going back into the My Little Pony palette. I am taking the color Butterscotch and using that as an inner corner highlight. It's kind of a satin finish off-white, which is perfect for this look. I'm using a tiny little Luxie brush. I honestly forget the number of it. Now we're gonna remove those shadow shields. Oh shit, did that hurt. I remember making this. Um, don't put them so close to your lash line, guys. Don't, don't do that. Next, we're using roller liner to create a wing. Um, I always take it and line it up with the tail of my brow and then just drag the liner straight down to create a wing that's gonna be at the correct angle every time. I'm just going ahead and um, filling it in making it the thickness that I want. And now we're moving on to the face portion. Um, I forgot to show you guys, but I am using the Pacifica Crystal Lit Moon Oil, which is seriously the best facial oil I've ever tried. And I'm just putting it all over my skin. Sometimes I do this in lieu of a primer just because my skin is that dry. Next, I'm going to be taking my Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer Foundation thing. Um, my color is Cream Whip. And to get more of a medium coverage look, I'm first covering my problem areas, but then I'm using the foundation doe foot applicator and then kind of spreading it over my entire face. So it's not quite so full coverage as you can make this foundation, if that makes sense. And I'm going to be using this little Eco Tools buffing brush. I usually don't have good luck with brushes like these because they can really show off texture just due to the nature of like a buffing brush versus um, a flat foundation brush. But this one I really didn't mind too much the uh, finished result. And um, I really liked it because it was really fast and easy to just get the foundation onto my skin. And this is the first of many setting sprays. I'm just using the Lancome Fix It Forget It spray. Um, my cat is going crazy in the background. I can't even record this voiceover. I'll check in with you guys in just a moment here. And here I am cream contouring with my Urban Decay Naked Skin Shape Shifter Palette. Um, what I'm doing is just defining my under the cheekbone I'm obviously cheating my cheekbone a lot higher than it should be on a normal human being. And then I'm just taking my deep contour shade and going around my forehead with it and right under my jawline, definitely not on top, especially if you're doing kind of a heavier cream contour like I am today. And I'm using this foundation buffing brush. I forget what it's called. I think it's called the Miracle Complexion Brush. It's $8.99 at Walgreens. It's the best foundation brush I have. Anyways, I'm using this to blend out my cream contour. And I absolutely love it for this purpose. Remember to blend your cheekbone contour up rather than down. That's very, very important. And then blend that cream contour towards the center of your face from your hairline and then um, blend that cream contour down your neck. Next up, I am applying uh, some setting powder from the same palette with a Real Techniques Instapot brush. I love this for under the eyes because otherwise that foundation and concealer gets creasy as hell on me. It's just not good. And then we gotta get that forehead wrinkle before it becomes a problem and a little bit of that chin. 
Then I'm going to take this little blending sponge from EcoTools and use the color corrector in the palette as a cream blush, which you can do. It's allowed. You can use products in a way that they are not intended. Kind of revolutionary, I know. I'm really warming up the product, but then I'm taking the cream highlighter from the same contour palette and I'm pressing it only into my cheekbones as I only really like a highlighted look on my cheekbones. I just personally have way too much texture for that whole let's put some forehead highlights, some nose highlights, some chin highlights, some mustache highlight. That does not work for me. So um, here's some realistic cream highlighting for your personal enjoyment. Uh, next, I'm going to take the Lancome Fix It Forget It setting spray again, just to set everything in place. And we're gonna go ahead and use that Applejack and Flutterby shade again on this little brush here and just kind of do the lower lash line and blend it out. We're mostly gonna be covering this up with mascara later, but I hate the blank lower lash line look. I just can't do it. Next, I'm going in with the brown black shade in the Tarte Busy Gal Brows, and I am filling in my eyebrow. I have pretty dark brows and I just got them waxed, so I don't necessarily really need to define them right now. Um, probably a couple days down the road, I'm going to start breaking out all of my brow products to try to make these hairy ass brows start looking good. But for right now, I'm just enjoying what I can do with my Busy Gal Brow. And now I am going to use the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara as the first of two mascaras that I'm going to use to prep my lashes for falsies. I like this one because it's pretty clump free and it's good volume. It's also something like $7.99. I used to be um, very much like a oh, Dior show, Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir. But um, since I've had a little bit of a career change, I'm really, enjoying kind of like those mass brands of makeup and starting to kind of discover these drugstore gems. Um, and next up after the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot, I use um, Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. And I use this one because it gives the lashes a little bit of a curl and it gives you a little bit better foundation. Um, and a little bit easier application for adding a false splash. So I'm just taking that roller liner one more time and going over my lash line just to make sure I have a good dark base to adhere my false lashes. It's a lot easier to get a false lash on if you don't have to be completely 100% exact about the line, um, placing it on there and making that lash band completely straight to your natural lashes. This is a really good tip if you're kind of a beginner with false lashes. Um, I'm just putting them on. I'm so over these stupid tweezers because um, they're just so gummed up with lash glue at this point. And so I'm just using my long ass stiletto nails as sort of a uh, sort of a tweezer. And then I'm going to clean up my, um, my wing here with a little bit of shape tape. I don't use shape tape for pretty much any other purpose besides occasionally an eyeshadow base for colorful shadow or um, for this purpose. And then I'm also going to go ahead and do my lips. I forget the exact color of this Urban Decay lip pencil, but it's kind of a pinky rose color, at least on my skin tone. 
so I'm just filling in my lips with it. It's got just enough brown where it's good to kind of overline, um, at least for my skin tone, which is light with olive undertones. Um, just filling my lips in with that. So I'm going to fill in my lips here with the ColourPop Ultra Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Clueless. And I'm just filling this in in the gaps where I did not place the lip liner. I'm trying to let the lip liner do most of the work for me because otherwise it can just look really uneven if you do it that way with these ColourPop Ultra Matte Lips. Then I'm gonna take my Queen of Hungary Mist and I'm going to take my Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. I Yes, I do use three setting sprays. Anyways, that's pretty much all the look is. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.